Hey guys, welcome back. Good morning. Just want to give you a quick update, not normal format here, but I was on SpaceX's website and I saw that they pushed the date forward yet again. It's supposed to have went off uh, March 5th and uh, it looks like it's pushed back to March 6th now. Now, if you don't know it, on March 3rd, they tried to launch and there ended up being problems. I did videos on this and we were live for about five hours waiting for it to happen, but it ended up not happening. It is what it is, but they ended up destacking and going through everything. Elon Musk said, listen, we were 20 bars down on the initial spin up. That's when they're using the turbo pumps to force feed fuel into it to get to about, let's say, 700 plus PSI. Well, it was down about 290 PSI, so not all Raptor 33 engines would have fired, most likely. If not, some would have failed, they would have burned up, there would have been problems because it would be less on fuel than how much it should be. Just like a car, if you end up putting less fuel in but still the same amount of air, you end up detonating because now all of a sudden you have this very lean mixture. It's similar to that, not exact, okay? Not exact. But the bottom line is that we're down about 20 bars of pressure, which is about 290 PSI, which is a lot. That's the equivalent of being underneath the ocean 2,000 feet or so. You can imagine, it's a lot of pressure that was missing. So they had to work on it. And Elon said, listen, destack. We need to figure out what is going on here. And that's exactly what ended up happening. They destacked. What's really interesting, I found, I believe it was someone internal to SpaceX, and they stated something really short and sweet. Vehicle diagnosis remains active. That to me means that they really haven't figured this out yet. And the question that a lot of us had was, is this a problem on the craft itself where it's not able to retain the amount of pressure as it should because maybe there's a leak or who knows what? Or is it a ground-based problem? Because remember, when they're spinning up those turbines, they're doing it from the ground to get that initial feed of fuel and then once everything lights well then it feeds itself which is not a problem it's almost like a turbocharged diesel right you turn it on you can hear it clicking 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 as it's starting to feed in the fuel and then heating up the fuel doing all the stuff before it starts the way they do it is they spin those turbo pumps from the ground and force feed the fuel once again over 700 psi which is a ton right so they needed to do it, but ended up not working. So where is the problem? Is the problem on the craft or is it not? It's a ground-based problem. I think if it's a ground-based problem, they would have launched. Okay, I, I just, I don't see it. I think, they, I think it goes a little deeper than that. It just simply makes sense. Now, that's one theory. Now, another theory that I had was maybe Elon Musk was a little bit busy last night and he couldn't make it as of today to launch his rocket. Obviously, he was with the president. The president was addressing Congress, and he was there, obviously, as the leader of Doge. He had a snappy new haircut. He didn't have X with him, which was interesting. So maybe it has something to do with that. Maybe today there are some things that he has to do on the ground, still in Washington, D.C., where he wasn't able to get back here for, when I say here, I mean Boca Chica, to be able to launch the rocket. That's a possibility and then they just pushed it forward. I really don't know what the answer is here, guys, but we do know that according to SpaceX's website, it says we're pushing back to March 6th, which will be tomorrow. And the website reads, the eighth flight test of Starship is prepared to launch as soon as Thursday, March 6th. The launch window will open at 5.30 CT. That's 5.30 p.m. CT. So 6.30, p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I am here in Florida. So, this all being said, I thought we were going live once again today, but we are not. I should have another video for you today. We will see what ends up happening, but I am really excited to see this IFT-8 launch because there's so much goodness involved in this one, from new heat tiles to all kinds of changes to the flaps and a lot of other things. And for me, the most important thing is SpaceX Starlink, obviously. This channel has been a lot about SpaceX Starlink. I have over 430 videos on SpaceX Starlink. So when you're done watching this one, take a look at my playlist. There's a ton of good information there. So Starlink is a big thing for me and 
What's interesting is they're going to be launching four dummy Starlink version three satellites on orbit. So now I shouldn't say on orbit because it's going to be suborbital and then they're going to burn up. But either which way, they're going to test out the Pez dispenser. And that is awesome. That means that we're getting really close to a time when we see SpaceX end up launching these version threes, the real version threes into orbit. Now, what I did find out originally, I thought, and this seems to have changed that the version two to the version three, the big difference is not only is the version three four times the size, but originally 10 times the capacity, meaning that every one version three would be the equivalent to 10 version 2.0 minis. Well, I just heard and I reported on it on during the live feed that now they're saying it's 20 times. I was stunned. What that means is every one version three is the equivalent to now 20 version 2.0 minis. So you're talking about a ton of capacity. Now remember, the speeds are going to go up and the latency is going to come down. But the most important thing is congestion is going to come down because you're going to have a ton more capacity overhead. That's it. That's simple. So I am really, really excited about this. We'll see what ends up happening. Like I said, there is no news as to exactly what the, let's say, problem is. But according to what I'm reading is they still haven't found it or if they have found it, they're still working on it. And that leads me to believe that it has nothing to do with a ground-based anything because they have redundancy, redundancy, redundancy. They could use another ground-based unit to spin up those turbo pumps at the proper PSI if need be. It's definitely, I think, definitely an internal problem that they are addressing. So, we're going to keep watching for the restack, see how long that takes. And if we see a restack today, we'll definitely go live tomorrow. But we'll see what ends up happening. And I will keep you abreast one way or another. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, definitely subscribe. Click the notification button so when I do go live, you will be notified of it. The last time we had just under 1,000, I think it was 800 and some people here on the channel live during the event. So I'm really excited for that. Thank you for all being here. Once again, subscribe, like, share. The most important thing is share. All right, share it with your friends, family, colleagues, Reddit, Facebook, wherever you frequent. That would be awesome. Anyways, guys, I am out of here. Head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all of my merch and my tees and my books and my shirts and all the rest of this stuff. Check it out. See if there's something there you like. And if there is, please pick it up and help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all.